Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 10 of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition. And in this episode, we're going to be going to the Battle of Fawn Castle. And we're going to do this as Guan Ying Ping, one of four Shu characters that are new to this game. I say four because one of them is actually DLC, which is Fa Xing. And seeing as how also in this game you have two EX moves, hers is probably the funniest one. So let's get started. The enemy are scouting frequently. Their main force will attack soon. So they let us take the castle before surrounding us. Have we just been dancing to their tune? This never-ending rain, too. They surely plan to make use of it. It's okay. We can win. So long as we all fight. Together. I have shared my brother's ambition. And now, I have seen my children grow so strong. Though I have lived through chaos, what a full and satisfied life it has been. Father? Is something the matter? My children. Your era. A new land of benevolence lies before us. Now, your honor and courage will be needed more than ever. Good. <laughs> I made it in time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shu Shu, what brings you to Fawn Castle? A plan, my lord. I have a way out of this peril. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have two different paths. So when you're talking to everybody in the camp, you got to be aware of not trying to trigger either of those paths right now. Just go on ahead and talk to everyone in the camp. By the way, that's an achievement, in case you're wondering. That's why I do it. Because it's practically an achievement when you do that for all three kingdom. Oh, okay, let me rephrase that. All available kingdoms that have a camp. Now, let me point out something about this uh, stage. <clears throat> this stage, depending on what you did up to this point, is going to either be the most difficult or the easiest. It all depends. Well, it's not one of the easiest. It still has its challenges, but still. And even though this is a collaboration of all of the choices you made up to this point you can still end up going to the historical route i just want to point that out to you by neglecting the flood attack you may still end up going to the uh, historical route and that actually can happen if you don't pay attention to what sushu says so with that said I'm just going to go on ahead and talk to everybody, but bear in mind, Shu isn't the only uh, kingdom that has that little issue. Apparently, so does, I think Jin does too, yes. Jin has uh, the same issue with uh, Shu that if they fail the objective, despite getting all the star requirements that you're still gonna end up going to the historical route. I'ma try not to fail that objective. 
Oh, but I need to point out something very important. N notice how it's silent now. You're about to see that everything <clears throat> that you're going to hear in the next couple of minutes <coughs> was supposed to be in this game, but it's not. Because they took out the sound. Intentionally, I might add. So here you go. Wu has a strategist by the name of Lu Su. They say he is very positive about the alliance with us. So Wu will never betray us then, right? Although lately I've been worried about the situation. I don't know. Plus, I heard that Lu Su hasn't been in the best of health lately. The voices against Shu within Wu may be growing in number. They have left that dialogue in the final production, even though this was originally supposed to have no dialogue whatsoever. This was intentional. And more importantly, this was one of the reasons why Omega Force took it upon themselves to strike in the voice actor's uh, revolt during 2016 and 2017. This reason right here, at least a good number of them that was in the Mega Force. I'm not sure if Vic Mignogna was among them, but I know for a fact that Lex Lang was. So yeah, the removal of voice clips is kind of a lazy thing on Koei. And I did bring up that they had certain um, battles where in-camp dialogue as well as the uh, overview just had no dialogue. So you just heard it there. Anyway, we're going to talk to Sushu and we're going to continue on to the hypothetical route. And bear in mind, I did mention that you can still lose despite going to Sushu. And that's the thing people don't understand. I think there was one other part where that happened, and I think it was in Jin, where Everyone, despite getting all the of the uh, in order to establish brother's kingdom. hypothetical I'm route mission stars, if you do somehow allow uh, Suma Shure to end up being killed, I can't, think, I can't remember the mission it was, but if you allow Suma Shure to be killed, you will still end up going back to the historical route. And the same thing applies here. If you guys let the flood attack happen, you will go to the historical route. Plain and simple. So, yeah, it's best to actually do all of the missions. I don't think they have that for, um... Wu or Wei, but Lubu definitely, definitely, definitely have that for Lubu. Actually, no, Lubu doesn't have that either. Now that I stop to think about it, I have to think about it because they're the very first mission that has star requirement for Lubu is the one where if you manage to save uh, Huazhong, and for some reason he still doesn't make it out of the battle alive, he will still end up going to the historical route. Like if he gets killed off by a piddling soldier at the end of the stage, which actually did happen to me, by the way. That was some bullshit, but yeah. I forgot to mention that, uh... Brown soldiers and peasants can actually... Oh, by the way, that is the uh, EX move of, uh... Guan Ying Ping, one of them anyway. The other one, she just uh, sprinkles a rain shower on herself and gains strength. The main one she has is the one that's the most hilarious, where she literally picks up a boulder out of the ground and smacks you with it. It is glorious, it is hilarious as hell. I, I understand the humor, it is freaking hilarious. And normally she is the person who doesn't know her strength. Even more so, she's unfortunately a mace wielder. Just like...
every other character in Dynasty oh. Warriors 9. No, I don't mean like the double vouch mace that she's holding now. I mean she is a literal wait mace wielder. Her weapon does not come back until it's DLC in Dynasty Warriors uh, 9 and also in Dynasty Warriors 9 Empire. Well, the weapons are DLC in 9 Empire. But her uh, double weight mace? Actually does make a return. However, it ends up in the hands of I think Shang Bao. Yeah, Shang Bao has her weapon. So you. Yeah, another reason why Dynasty Warriors Nine is a clusterfuck. That is a relief. Anyway, we managed to stop the flood, but we're gonna have to end up going back there later on because afterwards reinforcements comes in. Oh right! I need to point out a few things. <clears throat> Due to the now, fact that we, we stopped the reinforcement the from in of leaving in Zhu Cheng, in the historical route, the only reinforcements Kong that Kong will happen today, is the reinforcements from Wu. But now the real work begins. Also, this spear that I wield shall Peng Tong surviving would guarantee reinforcements from Get Peng Tong from not only Chengdu, well, Our I should say Yi province, actually, but also uh, the Battle of Hangzhou, which brings forth Guazhong, Madai, and Machao. Yeah, that's basically why we had to defeat Cao Xu, because Cao Xu <coughs> would actually come in as reinforcements instead. How could my tactics fail like that? And not just that. There was also still the matter of the Yellow Turbans. The Yellow Turbans are going to make their appearance in this battle as well because you went and spared um, you are not going to like the outcome of Zhang this encounter. Bao. No, Zhang. Okay, Zhang Xiao, sorry. I did not so mean Zhang Bao. Has taken Fon Castle That's the other yellow turret. My bad. Let's I meant to say Zhang Liao. Uh, no. Zhang Jiao, sorry. Sorry. Ugh. But whatever the case, yes, Zhang Jiao is going to be protected. showing up. Once Shu so no Wu shows up. As a matter of fact, here comes Wu right now. The Wu forces have appeared. So now you're gonna have to deal with both Wu and Wei. They must mean to break our alliance and attack. Yeah, you're gonna still have to deal with Wu and Wei, but the difference is you have to deal with Wu and Wei to escape. What are you doing, Lu Mang? Unlike with this game, you're gonna have to deal with Wu and Wei in order for to actually complete the uh, entirety of the mission. Our alliance with means little in the end. For the sake of Wu, but for hypothetical, Guan Yin Ping will definitely work wonders. And I don't know if anybody would play as Guan Xin. I'm sorry, his weapon. His weapon is trash. I mean, there are two wing blades, right? And in his combos, he glides around and he can be sporadic and out of control. So, yeah. Guan Xing, I think his weapon is mad best. At least it's not Shang Bao. Oh, God have mercy. Wait till we get to historical with that guy. God have mercy, no. They must be here due to the benevolence that brother but whatever the case, we just need to take care of business and take care of all of the enemies. Because once we start dealing with Wu, then reinforcements for Wei will start showing up. And well, they end up killing another enemy as well, so yeah, that sucks. But it's alright though. At the end of the... Oh! Okay, um... Yeah, uh, the ballista literally made one of the officers I was going to beat up run away, so... Yeah, we're getting a lot of gold for this, by the way, in case you're wondering. And a lot of experience. So, this would be the perfect place to grind for experience, if ambition didn't exist. So now we're gonna have to turn around and go to fight uh, Lu Meng and 
get him out of the way. And Lusu as well. Because we can't really necessarily win this without eliminating Lusu. But once we do, we're going to make sure we have at least three moves out. Or make sure we get a good head start on these guys. Because guess what? Xiao Ho Dun will return and he's going to try to activate the Flood. And if he does, guess where you're going? Straight to the historical route. So yeah, we have to make sure that all objectives are completed. So yeah, that's what Come the on, game what does you not tell you. Or at least started. Game Guides does not I tell you. Ashes when I'm done. I had to figure that out Amazing. firsthand. We cannot succeed oh, and there goes Zuran. In this game, he is constantly obsessed hand. with fire attacks to the point where I pretty much nicknamed him Beavis. <laughs> yeah, fire! Fire! That's basically so his whole stick. I suppose that I must face you myself. So let's just I get rid of Lu Meng, Lu Xun, and also Lu Su. I think I already beat Lu Meng. Never mind. So let's just get rid of Lu Su and uh, Lu uh, Jun, and that'll be it. Lu Jun defeated. Lu Su defeated. I shall devise a new strategy. Yeah. We'll have to deal with them in the next part. Oh, I promise you that we will. For the time being, there's Shao Ho Dun. No time to waste, get the horse, and get ready to ride. Because, folks, we have a race against time. We cannot let Xiao Ho Dun get anywhere near the floodgates again. Because if he does, if he starts the floodgates, he's going to eliminate Zhu Shu. And he's going to eliminate the ballista that's in front of Fawn Castle. And we're still going to be at a disadvantage. Actually, he's going to get rid of all the allies that are in the area. So yeah. It'll be straight to the historical route for you. I mean, like, taking care of all of the um, objectives isn't really a star requirement. The star requirement basically is just come in after you beat all the stuff. But here's the thing, that flood attack will just make everything just go completely foobar. And I went the wrong freaking way. I gotta cut these guys off the pass and I'll be cutting it really, really close. But I did mention again that you will have to, again, dis the defeat Xiao Ho Dun and anyone that happens to be headed towards that floodgate. That includes Suma Yi. Do not let him get near there either. Oh, and that was so close, man. He was right freaking there. He was right there. Your stupidity amuses me. And of course, I'm getting lamb blasted by these so guys. You would face me in battle, would you? Very well. Oh, thank God for the rock. Ah, yes. Good old reliable rock. Damn it! Ouch! Oh no! They're getting way too close! No! Yeah, I can't have that. And I think I got rid of those guys, right? Nope. Nope, nope, I got caught. Hold on. Let me turn things around here. Damn it. I was about to try to get into a uh, There we go. There we go. We just need to get to a rush. And that's all we need to do. I know that's a Shaho. I know Shaho dudes are right here somewhere. He didn't go to the floodgates. So that's good. Alright, he's been defeated. You fight very well, little sister. The floodgates but has been saved. The most. So we don't have to worry about a flooding attack, nor do we have to worry about going to the historical longer. route, even though we got all the stars. Alright. 
Now then, one final push. Let's go and take down Sal Ren. And that's all we need to do. We just need to ride like there's no tomorrow. And I just realized that was actually a gap to jump off of. So, I think we need to go this way. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we're about to face off against Sal Rin. Now, Sal Rin is a little bit tougher than what you expect. I mean, yeah, Seven, he was pretty, was plenty tough. And, yeah, he got his uh, shield weapon back. And he still has that shield blade back. And he can be a menace to society. So, bear in mind... Oh, it's the buckler blade. That's what it was. <clears throat> but he still could be a menace to society. Ironically enough, Dynasty of Warriors 9 actually keeps his buckle blade... No, his buckler blade, sorry. Right when he, uh... Actually is... No, I think it's Dynasty Warriors 9 Empire, sorry. He keeps the buckler blade. Even though he ends up having a clone weapon in Dynasty Warriors 9. So it's 9 Empires that gets his buckler blade black. But it doesn't matter. Oh, by the way, that's her other Musao. Where she throws her um, mace onto the opponent. And then she kicks him in the nuts and get it back. That is basically her... Um, and she just threw another stone slap at someone. That's freaking hilarious. But nonetheless... Not much of a strategy except not to get held by, uh, by Sal Ren, but nonetheless, Sal Ren is pretty much kicking my ass, but not for long. He's done. Comrades, you have fought well and seen off our foe. Let out a victory cry! The land has been shown the honor of our cause! Finally, the ultimate battle with Cao Cao awaits. Still, what will Wu do next? Things are becoming more complicated. With our strength of spirit, we can overcome any peril. We will keep winning. All of us. <clears throat> along with our father. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Jubileong. Pong Tong. Our strategy has worked. The triangle has lost its balance and the battle with Wei and Wu will intensify. But, for now, let us just celebrate this victory. I can only hope that our Lord can hear our victory cry. I have the hypothetical route, which, believe it or not, is only four stages total and that is the hypothetical route in a nutshell no nope, let me rephrase that five stages total in the hypothetical because if you actually get the star requirement for one of those stages you end up unlocking you end up unlocking them you you end up unlocking them God have mercy on my soul. The fucking Nonmans. Well, at least they're better in this game than what they were in Dynasty Warriors 4. So, um... I don't know what to say on that. Except I, I don't like the Nonmans, but, uh... At least it's not a pain in the ass. I swear. So, with that said, 
since we are going to the hypothetical, we're going to have to go after Wu due to their treason, due to their treachery. And we're going to have to put an end to it once and for all. Jing province has been taken by Master Guan Yu. Yes, I know. I could hear it. His victory cry. <laughs> well, we all knew he would. <laughs> He's one man you can always rely on. What did I tell the two of you, huh? must have their reasons. Don't you worry, my dear. Believe in me. Mm. A land of benevolence is at hand. Men, it's time to realize our goal. Hypothetical route with Wei no longer in Jing and Wu no longer in Jing, Shu pretty much has taken at least 44% of actually, no, a little bit less than that. But they got a key location in Jing. And the reason why everybody is vying for Jing, they have their own personal reasons. Jing is connected to a peninsula, several peninsulas, so that way they can do sea attacks as well as have good irrigation for supplies. And more importantly, uh, Jing has rich fertile soil. So yeah, anybody that has those lands pretty much won the war. Which is how Jin ended up winning in the first place. So now, we're going to have to try to uh, settle our differences with Wei. I mean, Wu, sorry. Yes, we're going to have to settle our differences with Wu. And finally put an end to our kerfuffle. Our scuffle, at least. However, we're going to have to pick one of the three people there and... Zuga Leong, but we'll have to worry about that in the next episode of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete. And this is Man 985 I'll see you all next time. I'm, cho I'm stuck to choose between Guan, Jing, and Zhang Bao. Ah, oh, god damn it.